AUVIC stands for Autonomous Underwater Vehicles Interdisciplinary Club. We are located in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, and we are 40 members strong. Our members are split up into software, mechanical, and electrical, though they come from a wide range of different faculties. Uh, this year we built Polaris, which is our new competition bot, and we're very excited to compete. Polaris was designed iteratively in order to facilitate mounting while maintaining a large self-riding moment. This is the first vehicle in recent history to be built mechanically from the ground up by AUVIC. Polaris uses a mounting plate, which can be modified or even replaced in order to accommodate changing subsystems. This makes Polaris a very modular vehicle. Once again, AUVIC has designed their own um, custom thrusters using brushless DC motors, as well as redesigning our 3D printed thruster shrouds. New mechanical systems this year include the solenoid actuated torpedoes, as well as the golf ball dropper. The golf ball dropper uses a stepper motor in a watertight housing that is magnetically coupled in order to drop a golf ball. Polaris this year has many new custom PCBs, one of which is a motor controller which can control eight motors. Due to the location of the motor controller housing, it's difficult to visually see any leaks. So we incorporated internal pressure sensors and humidity sensors to detect water leaks. Our power board also has these sensors as well as an external pressure sensor and the ability to bridge two batteries together and give out multiple uh, regulator voltage outputs. The coolest thing about it is though, is its ability to switch over to external uh, power automatically, which is all done in hardware. The software team here at AUVIC is comprised of around eight members who have been working around the clock to help redesign our new system from the ground up. The robotics operating system framework has been used to create a new modular system which helps integrate newer members into the club and be brought up to speed. The Vision system has been completely redesigned to use the two popular open source frameworks, OpenCV and TensorFlow, which allow for rapid development for our computer vision models. Our graphical user interface has also been redesigned to utilize the web-based framework, which allows for portability and maintainability of the system, and also allows for non-software members to interact with the system itself. Our control system uses the IMU and the cameras in conjunction to determine desired angular and linear velocities. These angular and linear velocities can be used to determine the thrusts on each motor um, by taking into account the orientation of the motors and their position relative to the center of gravity of the submarine. Now we can then determine the RPMs required for each motor by uh, using empirical data we've collected to ma that maps thrust to RPM. To make sure the motors are spinning at the right RPM, we can measure the speed of the motors by looking at the signal coming off of the motor poles, and using that, we can ensure that the motors are spinning at the correct RPMs. This year, we have brought twice as many members to RoboSub to learn and help us compete. We are very excited for these members to use the knowledge that they gain at RoboSub to apply it in their careers and at RoboSub 2019. We couldn't be here if it wasn't for the support we get from our school and our sponsors. From everyone at AUVIC, thank you.